Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com with some very, very exciting news. A lot of you are familiar with the name Signage and Mod. Well, they are now known as Signage and Mod Incorporated because they have raised $7 million in investment money. That's a lot of money for a software project. So they are now a corporation known as Signage and Mod Inc. Now, for those of you that don't know what Signage Amon is or are not very familiar with it, I'm actually running a version of Signage Amon on my Nexus 4 right now. It is a custom ROM that can be flashed over the Android operating system. Now, what Signage, the Signage Amon team has done is they have taken Android and added some very, very neat features and new features to the operating system. So they've taken the base Android operating system and have enhanced it in many various ways throughout the life of the Android operating system. Now one of the downsides to the Signage and Mod project is how difficult it is to install. So that being said, uh, if you have an Android device, a lot of them do have locked bootloaders, a lot of them do uh, take time to root, a lot of them do uh, you need to install a custom recovery and once you have that custom recovery you need to install the ROM, then you need to install the Google Apps add-on. So it is a complicated process of course, which is actually one of the main reasons I started doing videos was to help people out and actually put videos out to help them root their device, which would in turn help them install Signage Mod. I even have videos showing how to install Signage Mod on their device as well. So it's just one thing that I am uh, deeply integrated with because it is from the start over two years ago. This is kind of how I got started with Signage Mod. So I'm very happy for them. Of course, the team, I'll post a picture of their entire team right there. If anyone knows anyone that works at Signage Mod, let me know. I would actually love to work at, with their company. That'd actually be pretty cool. Now, anyways, there were questions that did arise from this big announcement of the $7 million investment. Uh, a lot of responses I got were from the Signage Mod team in the Reddit AMA. I'll link to that, of course. But anyways, one of the main questions people had was how did they plan to monetize this? Of course, they're not going to get a $7 million investment without having some business model to eventually make money. So now monetization is not an immediate concern for the team or investors, actually. It seems as if their main goal is to build a brand, make it as popular as possible, spread it throughout as many devices as possible, and that's actually already happening since Android has billions of devices out there. Uh, they have over, I believe, 8 million registered users of the Signage Mod ROM. It is most likely more than that, just the registered ones are around 8 million, I think a little over 8 million. But anyways, uh, their goals in the future to, I guess, monetize on Signage Mod is to license the software to OEMs, the Signage Mod software to OEMs, build hardware potentially, and create uh, secure enterprise solutions, etc. Things of that nature, these are just things the Signage Mod team has come out with and said. Now I did mention build hardware, that's most likely not going to come for a good amount of time. Initially they are going to build partnerships with current OEMs that have a strong standing in the market uh, for, I guess, hardware on cell phones and tablets, etc., mobile devices because it's just so expensive to start a brand building hardware, R&D, all of that stuff. It is just a nightmare. So my guess is they are going to build the brand first, focus mostly on the software, and then in the future potentially go into building their own hardware. I'm not sure. But in regards to OEMs, it has been said there is a secret OEM that they have partnered with already. So they have one, which is very exciting. It makes it so much more... Uh, I guess believable that this is actually happening and it's actually a project that is going to make it pretty big. So uh, we don't know what it's, which uh, manufacturer it is, could be Samsung, HTC, Motorola, I doubt, but uh, Oppo is one of the main names getting thrown around. We're not too sure exactly which one is going to be potentially Sony. I'm not sure, but just throwing names out there. I don't know. My guess would be Oppo. I don't know. That would just, uh, it just seems like they're into the open source community. Uh, so it'll, uh, we'll see. Now the next issue that could could arise would be the installation process of Signage Mod to get it on all of these devices. It has been announced a Signage Mod installer, a CM installer, to install this operating system on devices could be very big for the company, honestly. 
Uh, like I said, it is complicated to root the devices, to flash the ROMs, all of that stuff. It is complicated. So, uh, they did come out with a CM installer that works currently on unlocked devices. Unlocked devices being mainly Samsung devices that do have, uh, you can get put them into download mode. It is easier for that to work. I don't know if their installer is going to do something like, It'll run through the process to unlock the bootloader, to root the phone, to install the customer cover, to install the ROM. I don't know if that's what it's going to do. I haven't heard too much about the functionality of it, but I do know that it will, I guess, automatically install signage mod on your device, which would be fantastic. But you also have the issue of if I install signage mod on my device, how am I going to get back to the original operating system? Is there going to be a way, a tool, to get right back to where they began? So I potentially see that as being a lot of work because if they're going to have someone install signage in mod, I know there's going to be people that say, oh, I don't really like it. I just want to try it out. So how do I get back to TouchWiz? How do I get back to Sense? So we will see how they handle it. I'm pretty excited to see what's going to come of the signage mod installer. Another problem that could arise is the Google Apps. With licensing, uh, as you do, some of you do know, when you install the SignageMod ROM, you also need to install a separate zip file, which is the Google Apps, such as the Play Store, Google Maps, Hangouts, all of those amazing Google Apps that make Android so great. Honestly, if it didn't have those Google Apps, it would not. It would be half as good as operating system as it is. So, uh, they did say they are working, planning to work with Google on the licensing of the Google Apps. So don't expect to see those missing anytime soon, which is very good news, honestly. I was a little worried that they might have to do away with the, with the Google app, so it doesn't seem like they will need to. And also, uh, if they did not mention something called the Science Mod Setting Sync, where you can sync various settings throughout devices. Again, myself included, having multiple Android devices, if I had Science Mod on all of them, it would be nice to be able to sync various settings that I set up on multiple devices. So. Good news there. Oh, again, it's an exciting time, exciting project, especially with KitKat coming out soon. You'll see new features implemented in KitKat, and then SignageMod will take those features and just make them better. That's what's so great about the this particular ROM. Again, as everyone at SignageMod says, don't ask for ETAs. They have not come out with any release time, anything with anything that I've mentioned, actually. So, again, that's kind of rule number one is don't ask for any ETAs. But other than that, you'll have to let me know what you think. How excited are you about this SignageMod Incorporated company? And uh, are you going to be, do you even have SignageMod on your phone? I know a lot of people do. So let me know. Leave a comment. I'd uh, really appreciate that. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. You can also subscribe to me. Click that subscribe button. It help out a lot. And of course, guys, as always, be sure to give this video a thumbs up.